to another video lecture. Today we will discuss a problem related with the three hinge arch. So please write down the question. A three hinge circular arch hinged at the springing and crown points has a span of 40 meter for zero and a central rise of 10 meter and it carries a uniformly distributed load of 15 kilonewton per meter 1515 over the left half of the span together with a concentrated load of 70 kilonewton 70 at the right quarter span point find the reaction at the supports normal thrust and the shear at a section 10 meter from the left support okay i hope all of you have write down the question so after write down please write please draw the sketch related with the what all details given in the question okay so after drawing the sketch please note down which are the points given a c b the three hinges since this is a three hinge arch and what are the losses given 50 kilonewton per meter that is acting at the left hand side over the whole over the half span and 70 kilonewton acting at the right hand side and this is a quarter span so this distance 10 meter away from this point b then what is given this rise central rise that means the crown point distance is 10 meter given then our final intention is to find out the vertical reaction at each support and also the horizontal reaction since in this case there is no horizontal force acting, there will be H and HB will be equal. Then the span is given as 40, so the center span distance will be 20, and here is also 20. Then our next important thing we have to find out that we have to consider a point B at the left hand side at a distance 10 meters from this point A. And here we have to find out the normal thrust and the radial shear. Already we discussed those formulas in the previous section. So let us say the point about this point A, the moment will be sigma ma equal to 0. So if you are going to consider this VB, it is acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So VB multiplied by 40 equals 15 multiplied by 20 gives in the clockwise direction. Then the half distance that is 20 by 2. Then the 70 is acting 20 plus this 10 distance. So finally you will get VB equals 127.5 kN. And if you are going to consider this whole forces, vertical forces, VA plus VB equals 50 multiplied by 20 plus 70, that is gives 370, and finally you will get VA equals 242.5. So all we find out the VA and VB forces, vertical forces we already found out. Then coming to the horizontal thrust. For, for finding out the horizontal thrust, we can either consider the we are going to consider this taking this crown point as our hinge so either considering right hand side or left hand side in this case we consider right hand side so minus bb into 20 means it is a 90 clockwise direction then 70 is acting in the clockwise direction and this horizontal force is also acting in the clockwise direction and finally you will get in the horizontal thrust value as 185 point 185 kilonewton please do the calculation by yourself okay then we know that if you are if it is going to happen one horizontal force and one vertical force the resultant will be r acting here so we can take down as resultant equals square root of va square plus x square and rb is also bb square root of bb square plus x square so and finally you will get the value r and rb 305 kilonewton and 224.68 kilonewton respectively then coming to the next case, next case is we are going to consider the property of circle that is the segmental property if you are going to consider the half span distance L by 2 multiplied by L by 2 equals YC and the remaining distance ok so in this case YC means the crown distance and 2R minus YC the remaining distance and finally the unknown value is only capital R the radius of the circle so 25 meter is the radius of the circle and then our intention is to find out the theta angle making with this the point we have to find out the theta angle will be sin theta if you consider sin theta equals opposite side by hypotenuse hypotenuse is capital R already we find out this value will become this much distance is 
10 and here is also 10. So we have to find out the to, this much distance. That means 10. That is 20 minus 10. 20 means the total distance then minus 10. So finally we will get theta value 23.58 degree. Then our final intention is to find out the vertical shear at D. How to find out vertical shear at D? We have to consider this what are the forces acting over this this side. Means left hand side. That means VA acting upward and this 15 multiplied by 20 is a, a, acting downward. So the total vertical shear acting at this point will be VA minus 15 into two, into actually we have to find out this this much the distance only. So VA minus 15 into 20 into 10. Okay. So that is the vertical shear at a D. Since we have to consider only this much portion force only. Okay. And finally, you are going to directly apply the normal substandard radial shear values. If you substitute vertical shear and uh, here this theta value already determined horizontal thrust and finally you will get normal thrust value and Q radial shear value 10.77 kilo newton. So you have to consider this, this is very important. Vertical shear at D means VA acting this. How much forces are acting here? So vertical shear means this, this forces that means 50 multiplied by 10 and this VA forces. Okay, I hope the section is all the reactions, vertical reactions, horizontal reactions, normal thrust, radial shear, all the things that we find out. So with this we will wind up the today's section. Thank you all.